hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so happy today because this is the first video like the first cooking video in this channel and i'm happy doing it so guys this is lena's kitchen slash local food in this channel we cook nigerian local food and we also share life experience how life has been with us i share life experience like what i felt how life has been treating me from my past life and all those things the lesson i've learned in my life and many things my plans for the future i also share with share with you guys so if you are new here, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please press the subscription button right now and also the notification button so that you get to be notified when I post my videos. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cook dry okra soup. This is my best soup, whether fresh or dry. I love okra soup, guys. I so much love it. It's so, so sweet. So this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i do cook my own of course please stick with me while i show you the ingredients i'll be using for this delicious food Okay guys, you are welcome back to my kitchen. These are the ingredients that we are going to be using in making this soup. Our first ingredient here is our dry okra. I'm sorry guys, I was not able to show you guys how it looks before blending it. But this is how it looks after blending it. You can go to the market and buy your dry okra. You can buy blended one in the market or you buy and blend yourself. So I blended this with my myself and this is how it looks hope you guys can see it very clear so this is a dry okra this is the quantity we'll be using we're also going to be using our roasted chicken i love using roasted chicken in making this soup because it adds a lot of flavor into it don't mind the color is because i roasted it with firewood that's why it looks like this i've already washed it it's already clean you can use fresh one if you are not able to roast, roast your own. We're also going to be using a smoked mackerel fish. I've already deboned it and I process it into the size I want. You can use anything in making this soup depending on your choice. We're also going to be using a kanda. I've already washed this kanda. It's already clean. So guys, you can make you can make this soup with anything you want at all so this is my choice i'm also going to be using crayfish i've already blended it and also i'll be using my oil my red oil some don't like adding oil to this soup but i like adding it because it makes it more appetizing when looking at it so i'm going to also be seasoning my onion my sorry my meat with my onion i've chopped it already and also my yellow pepper and i'll be also be making you of train nor cube i might not use all this cube i might end up not using all of them i'm also going to be seasoning also with my salt so guys these are the ingredients that we'll be using so inside my pot i'm going to be adding in my roasted chicken guys i'll be cooking this roasted chicken alone because i don't want it i don't want my fish and my kanda to be overcooked my kanda is already soft but this chicken is a little bit hard so i'll be cooking it alone for like five minutes after cooking it i'm going to add after cooking it for five minutes i will now add in my kanda and also cook it for another five minutes before i'm gonna add in my dry fish i might not be able to show you guys when i added the kandan also my fish because i don't want this video to be a little to, to be long so after, after cooking your meat for five minutes i'll add my kanda and also cook it for another five minutes just for it to soften before i'll now add in my fish so i'll be seasoning this meat with my no cube i'll be using two no cube in seasoning this meat you can use as much as you like depending on the quantity of the food you are making so i'll be using two in this soup 
I might end up adding more if there is need for that but for now I'm just going to be using two to season the meat it's going to be in it's going to be enough as in it's going to add taste to the meat so i'm also going to be seasoning it with salt i'm going to be adding a little bit of salt into it you have to be careful so that you will not spoil your food with salt so i'm going to be adding a little bit of feet about adding depending on the quantity of food you are cooking guys so I'm also going to be seasoning this meat with my chopped onion and then I'm going to add a little bit of water for it to be able to cook very well. This what I'm adding is small because I want this to enter inside the chicken like I want the inside to be tasty so I'm going to be adding a little bit of water and I'll be allowing it to cook for five minutes like I told you earlier on before I'm not adding my candle I also allow it to cook for another five minutes for the candle and the chicken to be soft on how I want it to be then before I'm not adding my fish and then my crayfish and my pepper I might not be able to show you guys when I added all this but this is how I did it so after adding my fish I will now add in my pepper and my crayfish so guys I'll just put it on my burner and then it has been boiling for like more than 10 minutes now now so I've already added my kanda and also my fish my crayfish and my pepper so I've added all this I'm sorry I was not able to show you guys so it has been boiling for more than 10 minutes now so guys the meat has already been softened it's time for me to add in my dry okra some do add in this okra directly into the pot but i don't like it that way because it's going to form lumps that may not melt after cooking this soup so i don't want that so i'm going to be mixing it with cold water this is how i do my i mix it with cold water first of all inside the bowl before i now add it into my pot i don't know how to show you guys this i'm sorry my camera is a bit closer to the, my pot so i'm not able to show you guys what i was doing down there but i hope you can see it just get a bowl and add in your dry okra and then you mix it with cold water make sure you mix it very well before you now pour it inside your soup and this will make the lumps to melt when you mix it with cold water when once you pour it inside your soup you will not see the lumps again it's going to melt by itself and when you, when you add it directly into the hot water it's going to form lumps that will not be able to melt so guys just melt it with cold water first of all just put add your cold water inside your dry okra and then you mix it very well make sure that the water covers the dry okra as in make sure that the dry okra is all melted in in the water the first water i added was not enough i'm going to add another one and i'm going to mix it very well you have to mix it well it's going to form lumps even when you're mixing it with good water but don't worry when once you pour it inside your pot the lumps is going to melt so guys i'm going to be pouring it as you can see i've already mixed it very well so i'm going to be pouring it inside my pot remember the water i added in this pot when i was cooking my meat is not enough so i'm going to be adding more water into it so, so that my soup is not going to burn so i'll be adding more water and i'm going to be mixing it very well you have to mix this dry okra very well try and mix it well so that you will help and melt the lumps even before boiling so i'm going to be turning it as you can see i'm mixing it well but my spoon is not doing a good job there so i'm going to change it 
try guys and mix it very well so as you can see I've already missed my own as you can see it's the lumps has already melted it's already okay like this I've missed it very well so now it's time for me to add my red oil I'm going to be adding my oil I told you guys some people like cooking the soup with our oil but as you can see the color is not bright is not appetizing so but you see how it looks like after adding the red oil so I'm going to be adding my red oil now and after adding it I will allow it to cook for like two minutes and then my soup is ready guys so I'll add in the red oil now and then I will allow it to boil for two minutes and then our soup is ready to be eaten as you can see guys the color is so so bright so so bright all right guys welcome back see it has been boiling for two minutes now and the soup is ready wow guys i just wish you would try this the aroma i'm perceiving in this my kitchen oh my god it's choking me the aroma is so so sweet the taste is sweet it looks beautiful guys just try this out in your house if you can't roast it with if you cannot roast your chicken with firewood you can use fresh chicken you can use anything at all in making this soup guys just try it and tell me how it comes out in the comment section i really want you guys to try this because you love it it's so so sweet and this is a simple food it's a simple soup and also is also affordable you can buy dry okra is not costly in the market you can buy it and it's something that you can make fast it's as in sharp sharp food so it's you, you are going to love it try it guys and tell me how it comes out to be in the comment section i'm going to be dishing it out now inside my pot because the food is already ready i've upped my burner so i'm going to be dishing it out inside my plate so that you guys will see how it looks like okay guys yeah welcome back this is how it looks like wow it's so so beautiful guys you have to try this and tell me how it turns out to be if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like it share it to your friends guys and also do do this practice it at home and tell me how it turns out to be bye see you in my next video